Welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we are going to explain modeling and RV of randomly distributed fiber reinforced composite. In the first video, a Python script was written to create an RV of short fiber composite. In the second video, signing properties and orientations to each fiber was explained. In this video and the next video, we will show applying periodic boundary condition or PVC to the RV both in Abacus environment and by Python scripting. By applying PVC to an RV, the opposite borders match each other even after the formation. And we can pattern the RV to create a larger view of material after the formation. As an example, you can see in this figure that right and left borders are exactly the same. The up and down borders also can complete each other. To apply PVC to the RV, we should use these equations in borders. These equations and details of applying them will be explained in the next video. But an important step before using these equations is creating node pairs. In two opposite borders, node pairs consist of two nodes which are exactly at similar distance along borders. As an example, two nodes on the right and left borders have the same y coordinate, and two nodes on the up and down borders have the same x coordinate. In this video, both creating the nodes at correct position and finding the node pairs are explained. So, keep watching to know how to create node pairs in Abacus. I run the script of previous video one more time. This script generates randomly distributed fibers without intersection and then assign material properties and orientation to each fiber. This script also inserts the part in the assembly module and then creates a step. For creating node pairs, at first we need to create nodes on all borders at correct position. In each pairs of opposite edges, we need exactly the same nodes. So we use seeding edge to create nodes on each edge. We use seed edge feature of mesh module and then pick opposite edges. We choose to mesh the edges by a definite number of elements and also to enforce that the number of nodes shouldn't change during meshing procedure we tick the constraint which doesn't allow the number of elements to change. In the similar way, we create nodes on the up and down edges. Then we use global mesh size to define the mesh size of the remained region of the part. In the mesh control window, we choose quad dominated mesh. As the geometry is complicated and the nodes on the borders are fixed, usually we cannot mesh the part using only quadrilateral elements. Next, we assign the elements type, which is a standard, plain stress, first order, and reduced integration. We also choose the enhanced elements to prevent our glassing. Finally, we can generate mesh on the part. We can use the abacus.rpy file to copy the commands related to the meshing procedure and add them to our script. In continue, I explain these commands. This part of the code is from the previous video and from this line, we will apply PVC to the model. In the first two lines, we pick the assembly and put all the edges of the assembly in the variable E. Now, we should find four borders of the RV. Using find that command, we can find an edge which includes an special point. The first find that command finds the up border. The next line finds the down border. And then the right border. And finally the left border. After finding the four border edges of the RV, we find the index of each edge by these lines. Then for each border, we create a variable which contains the related edge. After that, 
For all the borders, we create a set with the name of up, down, right and left. Now we are ready to seed these edges. Assume that the size of the mesh in each border is the input of the code. At first, we calculate the number of nodes for each edge by dividing the length of the edge by the mesh size. It's obvious that up and down borders have the same number of nodes, and also left and right edges have the same number. We can find the number of nodes in right and left border by dividing the RV height by the mesh size. Similarly, we can find the number of nodes in up and down borders by dividing the width of the RV by the mesh size. Then we can see each of the edges by these four lines. At first we seed the right edge by the right node number. Please note that the number of nodes is fixed. Then we seed the left edge by the same number. And then the up and down edges by up node number. Seeding all the four edges, we seed the remaining region of the part by global seed. We use the same mesh size for remaining region. After that, we define element types which are reduced first order quadrilateral and first order triangular. Then we pick all the faces of the model and assign element types to them. Finally, this line generates mesh. The nodes are the same in the opposite borders of the RV. Now we can create some sets to construct node pairs. For example, we can create a set by the first node of the right edge as the R1. The L1 which is the first node of the left side has the same Y position with R1. So R1 and L1 can be a node pairs. Then we create R2 and L2 as pairs and we can continue for all the nodes of the edge. As an example for creating some sets by nodes in Abacus environment, we create R1, R2 and L2 here. To create all the sets of each edge, we use Python scripting. We define the up node variable which includes all the nodes in the up edge. Similarly, we define down nodes, right nodes and left nodes. In the next step, we need to sort the nodes based on their position. For this purpose, we create new empty lists and add the position and label of each node to the list. The first variable is X coordinate and the next is Y coordinate and the third is label of the node. We create this list for all the edges. Now we can sort the list. As an example, in the upcard list, all the Y coordinates are the same so the list is sorted by the x value. Similarly, we sort all the list. In the next for loop, we create sets for all the nodes in the up and down edges. Please note that the nodes are sorted and the name of the set shows also the sequence of the position. Here we check one more time the position of the node pairs. If the position of two nodes are closer than a specified tolerance, the sets are created. Otherwise, we will print an error. In this for loop, we use node label for each node to create a set by it. We create sets for down nodes and up nodes simultaneously. The next loop creates pairs for the right and left borders in the same manner. In this loop also, the accuracy of position of nodes is checked at first. Please watch our next video for applying periodic boundary condition to these node pairs. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.